endoscopic retrograde cholangeal pancreatography. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Dr. Palacios. <laughs> so um, I work in a large, I mean, in a community that's actually not large, but has a large um, Amish community. Um, it's the second largest Amish community um, in the United States. And uh, what I was realizing was a lot of the um, women that were pregnant did not really know the difference between epidurals and spinals. And I wasn't feeling like I was really giving them, um, and, well, they weren't really being given informed consent when they were consented to epidurals because a lot of them didn't have the information for you. When, when you're having a contraction, you're not really caring about what information I give you as long as you you sign and you use the epidural. So what I decided to do was um, 30 days prior, they would usually come in within the 30 days of them giving birth. They would come in and uh, I would do a presentation on the epidurals and spinals and what's the difference and they get to ask me questions. And that was really to help dispel the myths that we hear because other than Google and family and friends, a lot of them weren't getting the proper information. So that's why. That is